Welcome ladies and uh, gentlemen to Warwick Sciences uh, ex filmed experimental um, and this one is on continental drift and showing the effects of continental drifts. Now what we need for this is we need a couple of things. We need a beaker and as you can see here it's basically filled up with golden syrup. So this is good old Australian Bundaberg golden syrup and we've got some wheat biscuits some fairly cheap wheat biscuits as well now what we've got here is the golden syrup actually represents the uh, the mantle okay because it's a thick a pasty material and our wheat biscuit is going to represent the continental and oceanic crust now the first thing that i need to do is just get rid of some of the biscuit okay because it's a little bit too big to show what I want and then I'm going to break the biscuit in half as you can see now what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to place the biscuit into the golden syrup and I'm going to get it as close together as I can so that's pretty close in that regard then what I'm going to do is put it onto the beaker there okay and of course what is then going to happen is that the golden syrup is going to heat up and put and set up a convection current that will be present within now as you can see already you can see that it is starting to move away okay so that the two bits of biscuit are basically moving away now i'm going to leave that for a little while and then i'm going to come back and observe what has happened as a result now again this is one that you can do at home um, if you wish um, but again, like everything, you need to be really careful and you need to do it under parent supervision, okay? Now you can just start um, you can just start to see the fact that the golden syrup is now starting to boil in the middle and that is uh, directly where the Bunsen burner is underneath so it is starting to boil it is starting to set up the convection currents and you can see quite easily the fact that the biscuit is now starting to move to opposite edges of the beaker and that just shows continental drift in action the hot uh, convection currents from the mantle um, essentially just force the crust and travel the crust and carry the, the crust um, away from each other and this is what Alfred Wagner in the 1800s um, saw and this was one piece of his evidence was to be able to look at the at the coastlines um, of all of the continents and, and see that they fitted uh, together in a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle so um, he then looked at some other evidence as well and he concluded that continental drift was occurring his theory wasn't accepted until the about the 1950s and that's simply because he had no mechanism to describe how continental drift was occurring the theory of plate tectonics hadn't been discovered then um, so as a result he he knew what was going on he just couldn't describe how it was occurring so in effect, um, it took a while for his theory to become accepted. So now, as you can see, there's quite a sizable gap between the biscuit pieces, which represents the crust um, that we live on. So that's the experiment there. Thank you for accessing Warwick Sciences um, Film Practical of Continental Drift.